Hello, I'm Martha. Um, I make clothing and objects. Um, my work is sort of um, a pendulum between both. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is, <clears throat> but here we go. So I have a fashion background, um, but three years into my degree, I um, got stuck making sculptural work out of cloth. Um, I'd spent some time in Italy, in Milan, um, studying there and had some um, insight into uh, the class systems and um, a lot of bourgeois um, situations that were happening there and the extremities of poverty as well, which was quite shocking. Um, coming back, it made me really reconsider um, the fashion system. And I think that was a grounding in my work, <clears throat> which would have been about seven years ago now. Um, so this was sort of the beginning of my practice, um, looking at um, refining uh, cloth down to its core systems um, and looking a lot at um, the Renaissance and the Renaissance um, ideals of perfection in the body. Oh, what do I do? How do I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then placing um, the cloth structures within frames, but also on the body, uh, mostly because my lecturers made me do that. But it was interesting <laughs> as well. Um, and I suppose um, from doing this, um, I began to realize that um, my practice is very much about process and repetition, um, as well as um, technique um, in the sense that it's, I'm really interested in um, figuring out the way that things work um, and then trying to break those systems or recreate them. Um, and then I stopped making work for about two or three years um, and that didn't go very well for me at all. Um, I came back to work, um, to making work a few years later and um, slowly started to think about cloth um, on the body and off the body again. <clears throat> And then um, pulling apart garments and um, creating walls um, in a very intuitive way, not really knowing why I was doing it, but it just felt right. <clears throat> um, and then I made um, this dress. That's me right there. Um, it was a dress that was also a tent, which has been done before. Um, but there was a lot of stuff going on in my life um, in a very personal sense. Um, and there were some ghosts in my house um, that I was living in. Um, I do believe that one of the ghosts started a fire in my bedroom one day. Um, and the culmination of all of these things happening um, started to make me think about like my belonging and um, where I should be and what I should be doing. Um, the process of me making it took a very long time, just thinking about um, what it should be and how it should exist. Um, <clears throat> so while I was making it, I also started writing a manifesto um, to give myself um, some rules to work within. Um, so words have become really important to my practice as a result. So um, creating rules um, and words and um, new word combinations as well. For some reason, it, it works for me. That's just a little sneak peek of the manifesto. It's thrilling stuff. <laughs> um, I'll just put the video on because it didn't work. So I have a time lapse of the tent dress. I, at the time of this, I actually didn't have a house. Um, I had a studio, <clears throat> which is way more important, really. Um, and I lived in my tent dress for about ten, seven or ten days. Um, I visited the houses of my friends and set up camp. I wore the dress every day. Um, it did get a bit smelly. And then I had a backpack which I constructed and um, a floor which all rolled up into a little package. Um, and then um, I would go from place to place, day in and day out, um, wearing the garment. Um, it was a really interesting 
few days, um, very uh, self-reflective. And um, while I was um, living in the tent dress, I started thinking about um, if clothes could be your house, then um, accessories could be your furniture. Um, and thinking about how I could have nothing and rid myself of all of the things, which would be ideal, really. Um, so when I started thinking about this, um, I started making these things called objects of multiple function. Um, and they're basically just cloth structures that um, have a looping system um, that mm, enables them to be joined to other things um, and joined to themselves as well. So the suspension of the tent dress and the loops. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. It makes sense now. Um, are sort of carried over into the objects of multiple function. Um, I have a little video that I forgot about, but here's one of the first ones that I made. I really like loops. I think I have a loop fetish. I'm not sure why, but they just make sense to me <laughs> in a really special way. So, these are some of the objects. Um, I really like how they can have different states and that they don't exist on the body, but that they could. Um, so that's it flat, and then that's it filled. They really have no function. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I like that they could, and that they could be anything, and that they're also nothing. So, um, And then at the moment, um, for the residency here um, at the Australian Tapestry Workshop, um, my objects are right, residing in the space instead of me. Um, and I will be introducing a family of objects over the course of the month um, and um, arranging them and finding new ways for them to exist. So I invite anyone from the Tapestry Workshop or any visitors here um, to come in and um, interact with the shapes, um, put them on their body, and also um, put them around the space. Um, there will be more objects introduced as the month progresses and um, there is a camera for people to document as well. So get messy and get dirty. <laughs> um, I came across a really amazing um, essay by William Forsyth, the choreographer, recently. And it's um, called Choreographic Objects. And he speaks about the potential to choreograph objects off the body. And um, when I came across that, it really resonated with me. So that's something that I'm sort of thinking about at the moment and um, seeing where it takes me. So that's that. Um, thank you. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Um, I also make clothes. Um, I also make clothes, and um, here they are. <laughs> um, it's actually I bring it up because it's really into. It's really connected to my. Um, other thing that I do, um, and they're really informed by each other. Um, the production systems um, involved in making clothes is obviously very much um, informed um, into my sculptural practice. Um, and most recently, I have been investigating 3D printing. Um, you can see these um, components here are all 3D printed. Um, they're made out of um, compostable materials. So all of the garments, um, when people are done with them, they could just um, just chuck them in the ground and that's it, they're done. I have some components here if anyone wants to see. Also some fun algae ones as well. So yeah, that's it. And that's me, come find me. Thank you so much, everyone.